Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. Dad and I are traveling to get feeder piglets this morning. Right, Dad? Right. <laughs> it's quite a drive. It's about an hour and a half. We're traveling to the other side of Keuka Lake, the one of the westernmost Finger Lakes, and snow's flying. It's not too bad. It's not like we're traveling on a busy interstate. This is the way it is here when we travel between the lakes. It's up and down hills. You go up between the lakes and then you go down when you're headed toward the next lake. What is that garbage truck? Yep. Well, I didn't expect to be driving with snow on the roads today. That makes it fun pulling a trailer. Well, it's starting to look positively like winter. Fortunately, we're almost there. Here we are at the farm with the feeder piglets. And I gotta show you, it's inside this big coverall. It's pretty cool. Yeah, one sow here. And her piglets. And this is a really nice setup. We've got pens all around here and the boars are back in the shelter over there. And then to keep the piglets warm in the winter, they got this box over here. You close the lid on it and keep the heat in and they go underneath into the light. Hey little guys, how are you? You wanna come home with me? We got all the little guys in the trailer. We actually wound up with 10 of them. I'll tell you about that when we get home. Well, Dad and I got home after traveling through the snow and the cold, and Hillary was waiting here for us. She kept the home fires burning, the house is nice and warm. We got to take the pigs out of the trailer, and uh, I'll show you why we got the free pig. Did I tell you it was free before? I don't think I did. It was free. Let's go in here and take a look. Hey, little guys, looks like you made the trip all right. Let's see if I can find that one hill. I think it might be. It's either this one or this one. Look at this guy. Well, you gotta hold still a little bit here. Well, that's okay. You can be my baby. <laughs> he has, see this lump on his front leg? I got this piglet for free because the farmer said, well, this guy's been gimping around a little bit. He's eating fine, but he's got this bump on his leg here. See it? Yeah, I see it. It looks like a cyst, but it's not infected. It's not red or anything like that. Huh. So I'm thinking that we just wait and watch on it. It's got a little scab on the outside, but it's all closed up. So I don't think, I think yeah, getting I think in, it'll be all right. I think getting into it and lancing it or anything like no, that just might make it no. worse. So we're gonna see if we can get you growing. Yeah, you can be our little baby pig. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What we want to do is we're going to raise nine of them out for butcher in late May, and I got one to keep our new little boar company. And we got to pick out which one. Should it be that guy? <laughs> Actually, I'm liking this one right here because of the coloration. I think that'll look really good out of Tamworth boar and a little black like this. She may be our next breeding sow. Let's pick her up and take a look at her. What do you think? Well, it's okay. It's okay. She's objecting. <laughs> She's raising some objection. Uh, you're, I would call you the lucky pig, actually. Yeah. Let's make sure you're a girl. Let's make sure you're a girl. That's definitely a girl. Oh my goodness. You've definitely got an opinion about things. You do? Ow. <laughs> I think I think that our little boar is gonna like having your company. Well let's oh go and see your boyfriend. All right, we're gonna put you in here. Well, go ahead. There you go, little lady. Meet little boar. 
We got a little back and forth going on here. How do you smell? I think after that long trip, she's still afraid that the ground's gonna move under her, so she's just kinda holding her spot for now. <laughs> he says, come back to my bachelor pad here. It's nice and warm. She's not buying it yet. Oh, and I need to fill you all in. Henry has given our new little boar a name, and his name is Billy. Billy the boar. Perfect name. Billy. What are we gonna mm. name you, Oreo? Mm. I don't know, maybe. I think Billy likes that. He's pretty excited. That was the official sniff. <laughs> oh, I got a playmate. Get up, come on, I want to play. You got to come lay with me. Keep me warm. What do you think about that, Red? We got lots of new playmates in here. Yep. You guys, do you guys approve? Howdy, John. Hey, Brownie. The remaining nine piglets are gonna go into our winter pig area here in the barn. It's uh, 16 foot by 48 foot long. Nice, lots of room for them. But it needs a little bit of cleaning and repair work before we can put them in. I just gotta fix this patch in the fence here where we load them out from and pick up some of this stuff. Uh, we'll put these over here. The other ones are. This is already eating up most of the day. It's going to be dark in a couple hours. So we want to get this done, get them moved in, get them warm. T post fencing wire and firewood. Million and one uses on the farm. Including draft control. Sort of, kind of, not really. But there's where it's going. Hey, there's last year's Christmas tree. And here's a watering drum for pigs, but we're not going to use that for a little while. We'll slop them for a little while, because they just came off their mom. That's good enough. This ought to go to the scrapyard. I don't know, she's still got some life in her. <laughs> You know, Hill, I don't think we need to buy a Christmas tree this year. We still got this one. I think it'll look great with decorations. The kids will never know. The, ki the kids might have a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is going out the door. Hillary's going to put some hay in the corner here and we'll set up a heat lamp here. And while she does that, I need to fix this area of the fence up. Well, I think this patch is good enough. Yes, no, maybe, really, no. I don't know, it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. And I reinforced it by using this concrete block that my great-great-grandfather made. See, it's old. This is gonna be the piglet's warm corner until they get a little bigger, so we're gonna hang a couple heat lamps in here. There we go, that should do the trick. Give them a nice warm spot. All right, everything's all set. We'll go ahead and bring them in. All right. One at a time. those guys over there they're like what's going on see those pigs way over there 
They're wondering if I've forgotten about them, the poor things. They're hungry. Here you go. You go check things out. You're the gimpy one, I think. Hey, little ones. You guys checking out your new digs? Here, I got something for you. Put that right there next to where you're gonna sleep and give you some slop. Water and grain. There you go, that's plenty. That'll feed you for a week. That's it, you guys. Head up into there where it's warm. Smart pig gets a cookie. These guys over here are falling in love with the concrete block in the corner. I don't know what the deal is with that. This is where you want to be, right here. We're getting a drink. I like to see that. <laughs> I really don't know what the deal is over here. These guys love that concrete block. What are you guys, oh you're sucking on it. I've seen piglets do that before when they're weaned. They'll line up along anything with a corner and they'll suck on it. It's just their instinct for mother's milk. But these guys are going to have to get used to eating out of the dish here. They will. Welcome to our farm, little ones. Don't fight. What's going on over here? What happened here, Hill? I think the cows cleaned the fields of burdocks. <laughs> they found all the burdocks. Especially you. Well, everybody came in to see what's going on. You all got burdocks on you. Oh my gosh, that's got an itch. I have a hard time believing it, but here it is. You know, we're approaching the tail end of November and the cows are still on pasture. That's the first time they've come into the barn. I think they just figured out it was open, but we've got them grazing off the chicken field now and they'll be on here for probably a couple more days and they'll gradually, the barn's open to them, so they'll gradually transition into hay. These guys have been telling me that they're hungry. Are you guys hungry? What do you think? You don't look enough. Well, that's what you get for touching the fence. You should know by now. And they come right back. Don't touch the fence again. You guys are getting too pushy. I planned on moving that set of drags over there right after I trimmed the bush by my workshop door. And so ends another day on just a few acres. But before I finish this video, I wanted to show you something else. You may have noticed, because it's shown up here and there in previous videos, that I bought a new stock trailer. It's a Corn Pro, and I'm really happy with it. If you've seen any of our older videos where we're taking stock to the butcher, you know what our old horse trailer looked like that we used to haul pigs and cows. It got to the point where Hillary and I were afraid that somebody was going to fall through the floor of the thing or bust out the back doors because they were rusted so badly. It's a purchase I put off for a long time. I finally said this is something we need. So Dad and I went down to almost to Harrisburg in Pennsylvania late last summer and picked this up at 7,000 pounds gross weight capacity, which means it can haul after its dead load weight about 3,500 pounds worth of livestock, plenty of capacity for us. And I am so glad that we made the investment of this because the old one was such a wreck. We got its life out of it, that's for sure. It's got both a kind of man door, which you unlatch this way and slides. And actually when we load cattle, we back it up to the pen and the cattle load right in here. And then when we get to the butcher, you lift this doohickey up here and pull 
and the whole thing opens up so we can unload cattle at the butcher and if I climb up inside of it here there's a partition in the middle so if we have problems loading stock ever like the last time we loaded two steers and only one would go on at first well we bring them up front and we close the door and then we can load the second one in and this will be especially nice come uh, the end of December when we load the current batch of pigs that are out in the field because if we can't get them all on the trailer once we can get part of them on close them in the front and then open the back up again and load the rest of them it just makes life so much easier for me I'm so glad that I finally got a trailer but I had to look and look I couldn't find any in stock anywhere at a fair price which is saying a whole other thing without going all the way down to Pennsylvania and getting them. But I'm a little upset. This is the first time I've had it out on road salt and it got kind of dirty. I hose it out every time I use it. I want to preserve this investment for as long as I can. Anyway, that brings me to the end of the video. It's really cold today. The weather's turning and we're getting everything set for winter. We got pigs popping up all over the place, which I love. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Have a good night, guys. Get a good meal, get some sleep, warm up. I'll see you in the morning.